Alrighty guys, how are you doing? I hope everything's okay. Uh, I got a little better microphone. I hope everybody can hear me well. Um, let's do this. I'm going to do this quick little video for preparing for the exam coming up. It's called Chain Links. Uh, you're going to open up um, during the draw during the exam. You're going to open up this this draw. This will be given to you. This particular P line. It's a P line that shows the thickness. If you notice here, and what you're going to be doing is you're going to be inserting a chain link and following this P line all the way around. And the command is called divide. So let's do that first. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in divide. It's going to ask you what object you want to just select the P line. Now it doesn't. You don't see it select. It's, if you notice really close, it's selecting the inside of that, which is fine. It it really did select it, which is fine. And now it's asking you number of segments. But in this case, we don't we don't really care. If you look down at the bottom, it's asking you for a block. So we're going to hit B for block. Okay, uh, the block the the block that you're going to be using it's called uh, links, and it'll be available as well. So when you download it, it'll be there. You need to look for it and grab it. Um, if it doesn't find it, it should see it if it's in the same directory. Make sure you have everything in the same directory. Uh, it asks you to align block with object. You notice that, and it says right there. So I'm going to say yes just default so I'm going to hit enter enter the number of segments uh, for the chain link I believe it's 44 so you need to remember that uh, if you notice boom it follows it it drops it in there and it puts a chain link all the way around and follows it nicely all the way around the P line um, you'll notice that um, if you notice down towards the end here on the straight line runs it follows it really nice but as you come to the curves it kinda goes off a little bit that's because the reference insertion point for these links is actually the center of uh, the link, which means that as you go around the curve, it stays off the two circles come off. Because really, it's the center here that's following the P line. Okay, it's the center of this chain link. All right. So if I were to do one of these circles, I can only use one point to reference. So in this case, we used one of these circles here. So it follows a circle. Uh, I'm sorry. Where it, it follows the center. So when you follow the center, the two circles, when it goes around the curve, they're away from that center. So you see they kind of fall away from the curve, which is fine around the curve. This is what, we, this is what we're looking for. And when it comes back over to the straight, you'll see it starts lining up again. It goes to the curve, it kind of kicks out and follows the curve at that same distance all the way around. And then curves back and follows it. That's really all we're looking for for this one. It's called the chain links.